Here we are, 1965 Plymouth Barracuda. Probably more likely it's a small block, um, probably 273 or something. They had different ones, small blocks. They had four barrels in them back then. They put out like 275 horse. Um, hey, maybe it says something right here. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> but uh, four speed. Yeah, you know, it's it's a small block more likely with a four barrel but they did not have big blocks in the barracudas in 1965 you know and actually what happens i know a lot of people love these big block big block big block but the problem is it kind of ruins the handling of the car especially a hemi <laughs> in a car in a body god <laughs> talk about nose heavy <laughs> you know that hemi weighs like a ridiculous amount of money about a weight you know um this had the biggest i think this had the biggest sheet of rear glass of any car from coming from the factory at that time I think actually <laughs> this, is the, this is the glass that you know, when it snows covers your whole window up man <laughs> it's also a great solar heater but it's a cool design uh, concept and uh, you know it's like uh, basically like uh, almost like a hatchback in a way you gotta be careful with this glass man because I think the back glass is not tempered I mean it's tempered but it's not safety glass like in windshield, like side glass and windshield. Man, you gotta watch. You don't want to miss. It. You want to hit it right there. <laughs> Pretty strong glass, otherwise. So that's a lot of glass to replace. You know what I mean? <laughs> if that if ever broke, I'd probably put a piece of metal in there with a with some portholes in there or something. <laughs> I put an oval porthole in the middle and two on the side. <laughs> I wouldn't be changing it. They'll be like, that's too much money. Anyway, got ashtrays everywhere. That's cool. That's what you need. A lot of smokers, man. This is back back in the day. This is when they started smoking weed. They had the weed, the reefer in there, and the reefer in there. And they had one in here, one in here, and one up there. I don't smoke any weed, but if you did, this is the car you want, right? You get all kinds of reefer, reefer, reefer potholes that you can put in your. And of course, you had your little sculpted out thing in there for the seat back seat, which folded down. So I think it folds down. I believe it does. Yeah. See that? That's how it folds down. So you got a big, big long, it's like a hatchback before they were coming out with hatchbacks. You got your under hood, under dash, excuse me, under dash AC. And uh, this is probably a very, very, very fun drive car to drive with that four speed in it. Four speed always makes cars more fun to drive. You know, girls don't like freaking shifters. Guys like shifters. Millennials don't like shifters because they're all girls today. Their testosterone has dropped. You know what I mean? Mine hasn't. <laughs> so anyway, this looks bitching with the, uh, you know, all black with the gold stripe because with the gold interior to offset it. That's always good when you have the, you know, see, uh, different, you know, you have a an interior different from the color from the body, and you have a a stripe that is accented to coordinate with your interior, which is gold, right? Really makes it nicer, you know, all the way. Sweet car, man. Sweet car. Look at the wheels. A little bit of uh, gold in here with the chrome. Well, as your aluminum trim layers, it looks like. But that's coordinated with the stripes. The stripes that are on the hood. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. And here's where you put the energy source. Gasoline. You always go to Hagako in Hazard County to get your gasoline because it's 50% moonshine and extra high octane. Looks so, like I have my motorcycle now. Powered by moonshine. <laughs>